I now give the floor to Her Excellency Retno Estrani Prausandri Masudi, Your Excellency, M Minister of Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mr. President, I'm standing here not only as the Foreign Minister of Indonesia, but also as a woman, a mother, and a grandmother. I plead, stop the killing, protect the civilian, let in the humanitarian assistance. Use your heart, use your heart for justice and humanity. Mr. President, countless time have we stood in this hall to relieve the plight of our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Countless time have we asked the General Assembly for emergency session on the fate of the Palestinian people. Countless time have our hope been crushed due to narrow political interests. The world seems divided in different realities, as if there is a refusal to see the catastrophe in Gaza. The fact is, attacks and killings continue to take place. Yet, amid such a large number of victims, the Security Council failed to take action, decisive action. Two days ago, we reminded the Security Council of their moral obligation to save the lives of innocent people. Bring humanity back, back in the Security Council, and humanity must come first. Mr. President, my presence here today is to defend justice and humanity. To defend justice and humanity. Indonesia condemns, in the strongest term, Israel violence against Palestinians, against hospitals and places of worship in Gaza. Indiscriminate killings, kidnapping, and collective punishment of civilians must also be condemned because it is inhuman and against international law. This session must rise to the occasion where the Security Council failed to do so. The General Assembly must prove that we, the people of the United Nations, believe in the dignity and worth of human lives. In this regard, a three plus one concrete steps that we should take. First, stop the aggression to prevent more civilian casualties. The General Assembly should demand an immediate durable and fully respected ceasefire. We must be able to avoid future recurrence of the atrocities. The General Assembly should call for accountability, including the establishment of an independent commission of inquiry to in investigate this horrifying humanitarian situation. Second, ensure humanitarian access and protection of civilians. I call the General Assembly, together with relevant UN agencies, to step up efforts in providing humanitarian assistance in Gaza. We must continue to support the effort by the UN Secretary General and key countries to allow humanitarian assistance to take place. With the destruction and human suffering in Gaza, 10, 20, 100 trucks loads of humanitarian goods just not enough. Therefore, the General Assembly must call for an immediate, unrestricted, and sustained humanitarian aid. For our part, we will triple our voluntary contribution to UNRWA and call on the international community to support the UNRWA. Indonesia is also committed to send humanitarian assistance. Third, reject the forced transfer of civilians in Gaza. Colleagues, people should not be forced to move against their will. 
the call to evacuate the areas of North Gaza adds to the devastation of continuous bombardment of homes, blockade of electricity, gas, fuel, water, and years of collective punishment. This is a crime against humanity. The General Assembly should call for the stop of these evacuation orders, protect civilians, and ensure their safety and well-being, in particular children, and allow their safe movement. Mr. President, my final point, there will be no peace and until we solve the root causes of the conflict. There will be no peace until we solve the root causes of the conflict. Resumption of the peace process to realizing the two-state solution is a must. We must stop the systematic effort of the occupying power that may leave nothing left to be negotiated or no one left to negotiate with. We must not allow the Palestinian to have no other choice but to accept injustice for the rest of their lives. It is our duty to stop the injustice now. Enough is enough. To conclude, if you care about humanity, use your heart to vote yes to the resolution. Indonesia stands with the people of Palestine. I thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.